Welcome back, Burnout Teachers. Today's lesson um, is going to be about a book that I just finished reading, and I really recommend it to anyone who is a teacher because I think it's really an essential reading um, about how we can be better teachers and how we can really expand education to something that is instructive to how we live our own lives. And so I know she recently passed away, which is what kind of um, prompted me to delve more into some of the books that she's written. Um, but it's called Teaching to Transgress, Education as a Practice of Freedom by Bell Hooks. And it was just really eye-opening to read this book because I think as, as educators, a lot of us who are in like the anti-bias space, it's easy to talk about ways uh, to create equity and inclusion in our classroom, but then there's really subconscious things that happen in the classroom that we don't even know or are conscious of that are replicating systems of domination. So for example, she talks about how as a professor, you know, how her mind and her body is always really separated. And that even something as simple as the professor standing behind the podium during a lecture and not being able to interact um, with her body and like touching her students or even coming outside from behind the podium and like integrating herself in the space where the kids are or the students are, how that creates a real like system of hierarchy within the classroom that impacts how students learn because they're trying to replicate this idea of like teacher student the teacher having an authority where they're the one presenting the knowledge and they're the all-knowing person and the student just needs to receive whereas what she really talks about in this book is how education is really a dialogue and how teachers are really the facilitator of the discussion and really should prompt kids to be excited about learning and for them themselves to also be teachers in the classroom and that the way that we can really create um, an education system that is truly anti-bias and that is truly equitable for all people is by really breaking down these systems of domination in the classroom. And she even goes into to, uh, language, the type of language we use in the classroom. Um, also, yeah, how your body is situated. And I just, it was very eye-opening for me, which is why I wanted to share it on this channel because I just think that there were so many things that I think that I subconsciously may do in the classroom like standing in a certain position or placing myself or positioning myself in a certain way or using certain language that really is um, actually replicating um, a hier hierarchical system. I think this is a great book for anybody who's looking to really kind of question some of their practices in the classroom and I think something that's essential as an educator is to be self-reflective and self-aware because um, even if we think that we're great teachers there's always something that we don't know and something that we need to become better at to really serve all of our students and I think that engaging in intellectual pursuits of reading different literature about different communities of people and their experiences is really important for us to be able to serve our students better so us as teachers we are also students also all of us are students of of the world of this universe i'm really going to start sharing more on burnout teachers some of the books that i'm reading that i think are really interesting and not all of them are directly related to education some of them are just self-development or other things related um, to you know your own sense of self and community but I also think that that self-awareness like I said is really important for you being a better educator so I do think it, that it is relevant to teaching and education. I just wanted to read uh, one really quick uh, quote from it that I thought was really kind of representative of what the book talks about. All of us in the academy and in the culture as a whole are called to renew our minds if we are to transform educational institutions and society so that the way we live, teach, and work can reflect our joy in cultural diversity, our passion for justice, and our love of freedom. And so I think that really speaks to like her whole notion of self-development, looking at the way that we teach in the classroom, revising how, how we're teaching based on uh, new knowledge that is coming and through also us being students as well, so that we can gain that awareness and then hopefully become better teachers and help to transform education to really be a liberatory uh, practice. <laughs>